It's time to talk top 10 comic book figures of the year now, and I remember last year when I was so heartbroken that I couldn't really justify putting a DC figure on the list. Well, it has been a very different year. Now that's what I'm talking about for starting off the list, a rotting corpse raising from the dead. Um, yeah, this is going to be a very Superman heavy list just because there was a lot of Superman figures I liked this year, and this Black Lantern Superman is really just unnerving looking, and I like it a lot for that. And number 9 is a very plain Jane figure, but really, there's only so much you need to improve on perfection. Martian Manhunter is a very strong design, and it was very well captured by this figure. And plus, it's just cool to have John Jones. Yeah, Redeemer totally made the list. He just, he's so cool looking. Look at him. Why would he not make this list? I adore him, even if I know nothing about the character. Um... Once again, I think the idea is that he and Spawn are bros. I do not know. I do not care. They're just going to pose together on the shelf. Taking into the figure that really gave me my appreciation for Multiverse is this Lex Luthor. I just really think they captured the character incredibly well. I love the details in the paint, and he's a lot of fun to pose with. So, for all those reasons, I'm pretty happy that Luthor made the list. And number six is a character I don't really care for, but the design is so strong and the character is so much fun to pose that he had to make this list. The atrocious Build-A-Figure was completely worth gathering up all the Black Lanterns, which in their own right were all very good figures, but also I just, I love that you kind of have to pose him with like his pelvis going forward. He's like encouraging you to give him a Jojo pose, and for that, I can always appreciate a good Atrocitus. We finally go back to Big Blue at number 5. Now I've never been a fan of Superman without the red trunks, but this figure just really works well for me. I love the articulation and the posability, I love the head sculpt. It kind of is able to beat out my bias, even though I would prefer red trunks on this guy, I'll be honest. At number 4 is a 2-pack of two of my absolute favorites. The Booster Gold and Blue Beetle 2-pack is just a ton of fun, and it gives you this great capturing of one of my favorite friendships in all the comics. They work so well together, the posability is great, the paint is solid. I wish that Skeet could actually attach to Booster Gold in some way, but that doesn't like distract from how good this duo is. And number three is the future state John Kent. Not really because I think it's that great a figure, but more because he's my favorite ongoing story right now. My favorite comic DC's putting out, so of course I want a good figure of him. Nightwing is favorite. Nightwing is number two. And at number one, it kind of had to be the three Jokers. I'm sorry, they're just, they're what made me come around on the McFarlane figures, and they're super solid. Especially the comedian, that all three are great. 